right, guys, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. We're on our second to last episode, which is like really amazing. Uh, I honestly didn't think it would go this fast. Uh, I guess it goes faster when you're actually enjoying something. So, yeah, let's let's go on out. Uh, we have one more planet to kind of discover in this system. Well, technically two, but one is a aggressive sentinel one so uh unknown moon we haven't discovered that one and that's the one with the aggressive sentinel so there is a another planet i think that's the moon one there's a planet that we still need to go to i think it has rings if i remember correctly i'm not sure where it is though so we'll have to kind of see if we can't find it uh, maybe it's it's generally easier to find it on the radar. So that's the moon, and there's a planet somewhere. There we go. Let's take a look at this one. All right, so fractured planet, copper, gold, sodium. I think we got all of those, but it might be a um, one of those mystery planets, the ones with the uh, trophies. So we'll see if we can't find a new trophy there. Actually, speaking of which, have we... Catalog, I'm not sure where all the, the... They changed how the system works, so... Recipes, wonders, wonders maybe? Yeah, wonders. So we got a few missing up here. I'm not sure if that's... That's probably what those ones are. So we'll see if we can't find trophies I, I call them trophies but they're I guess they're wonders like world wonders or something okay we're coming in on an approach change the view so it's a little bit easier so it's a fractured planet um, yeah, I don't think we actually have one like this yet, so we'll see if we can't find one of those, um, oh, is that, no, that's one of those things. Oh, maybe those, those smaller cubes are, we'll land here, we'll see if we can't find one on foot. This is actually a really interesting planet. Okay, so this is definitely one of the odd planets. There's a creature right there that we can scan up.
Okay, so I noticed that we still had a, um, what do you call ruins to kind of discover. So I thought I would come here and it looks like there's one of those tower things, uh, the economy things over there. So we'll probably check that out in just a little bit. Uh, but I wanted to get what was here first. So we'll see if we can't get all those keys and stock up on some of them. And then what we'll do is we'll unlock the chest, that one right there. And then we can um, hopefully get something that we can trade over at that place over there. So uh, Generally, they're not that close together, which is kind of a fluke that it is. But we'll see what we can grab from here. Okay, so let's see. Oh, wrong one. That one. There's also a cave system around here too, so. Okay, and then there's that one. So we'll grab that one. A little bit deeper. Uh, second one somewhere around here. Yeah, right over there. Sounds like there's a lot of those uh, orbs too. Okay, I'm just doing a quick scan to see if there's any other ones. Doesn't look like it. Oh, no, there's one right there. Thought there was one over here. All right, so let's go to the chest. Right over here. And then we can mine, get whatever's in it. Hopefully it's worth something. So. Grab those keys, put that in there. Okay, we got uh, ancient samples. So that should actually be useful for that building. We should have some s stuff on our, um, what do you call it? Our um, freighter that we can use as well.
All right, so currently on my freighter at the moment. Uh, I was thinking we do have that egg that we need to um, hatch still. Uh, we need to be on a planet for that, I believe. Maybe. I can't remember. Um, but we'll go there and hatch that. I can't remember what kind of um, system we needed, but it's the uh, long neck. So... Need of barren, so that would be the desert. So we can go to a, a desert thing, but um, before we go, I want to basically probe the uh, system, and uh, then we can unlock that uh, moon there, so we can upgrade that or unlock it, get the nanites from that. And the other planet, we discovered all of them, so we get that. That was actually an interesting planet. I, w I haven't been on one of those before, actually, so. Um, I did get this stuff, I put it in our freighter, so I got three of the unique items, so we can kind of decorate our freighter base with it as well. I'm not sure where we will, maybe in this room, we can put some flowers by the door or something like that. We still have to decorate this room. Um, it's just a random geck behind there, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Anyhow, uh, we can decorate that one or maybe... Maybe right there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure just yet, but we'll we'll figure something out. Uh, eventually, I need to figure out where I'm going to be putting a portal room anyway, so we might even decorate that one. I'm not sure yet, so we'll see. But um, let's go to that barren planet. I can't remember exactly what system that was in. Was it the oxygen? I can't remember. Um, I think it was... Not space stations or bases. It was probably the oxygen farm one. Oh. Planet Rocky. Could be that one. I am not sure exactly, but this might be the one. So we'll go to that one and we'll see if we can't get the uh, right thing there. Might rebuild it too over there. I'm not sure. Because I think the oxygen farm is the one that we keep falling onto the ground from. So we might need to build a... Oh, excuse me. Allergies. Things have just bloomed here. Um, build a uh, kind of like a ground base, maybe. We'll see if this is the right one. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, this feels like it. Probably fall through. Oh, did we not fall through this time? We didn't fall through.
right, so we did get the creature. This is the right type of planet that we needed to go to. Uh, we don't actually need any of the... Um, actually, you know what? We could probably refine the oxygen that we do have in our inventory and put it towards um, carbon, which we are running a little bit low on. I don't actually have the ship here, but... Um, what we do have, though, is uh, the... See if I can get to the right menu. Uh, if we go here, that one. So it's uh, it's helpfulness is 39. Now the other ones that we have is 30 for that one, 16 for that one, and 22 for that one. So we'll probably take a couple more to fully max out um, the helpfulness. So it'll take a little bit of time for it to age up. I think it's like a couple days. So it probably won't be done by the time that we get the um what do you call it the uh planet all sorted out but we want to work on the trust i think as well i'm not sure if that's per animal or how it all works but um basically if we place them down i think that's done through petting them and feeding them we'll quickly test that theory so let's go ahead and tell him to go back in And we'll take a quick look at that. Okay, so it's still at 75. So it's probably going to take a little bit longer to um, do that. I think we have to constantly feed it and stuff like that, like over a couple day period. So we'll see what we can do for that uh, next episode, see if we can increase it a little bit. But... Um, for now, that will be all that I have time for. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.